Today's customer spotlight, we have Daryl and Rachel here. We were supposed to shoot their cars at pits and the weather did not cooperate. It's actually not cooperating today either. It's actually raining and thundering outside, but they drove these cars up here so we can take a closer look at them. Guys, first of all, what did you think of pits this year? Have a good time? Yeah. Is that your first time going? Have you been there before? No, nope, first time at pits. Uh, we kind of decided to go there because we didn't think Mustang Week was going to happen anymore. So, so a lot to, of people. Yeah, so we decided to do that, and I think we'll be back. Think I'm you pretty back? sure we'll be back. I tell people, it's, to me, it felt like what Mustang Week used to feel like. I can understand that. Big, I can understand I mean? that. Uh, it's a slower pace. Yeah, it's, a, it's a lot of yeah. fun. I mean, with the, between the Shine Run and everything else. I mean, even though, yeah, the Shine Run, it, I think it rained the whole time uh, when we tried to shoot your car. But so let's talk about these two cars. I mean, sure. they're both beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I like your car better. I'm, I'm picking sides <laughs> here, which I normally wouldn't do. But I have a thing for Mach 1s. And I love this, the Mach 1 style. Did tell us about this 08. Got three kids, so we drove family cars sure. for years and years. And our youngest was what, 15, I guess, and she said, I, I want a fun car to drive. I said, okay, we can do that. So went to the Ford dealer and looked at a couple Mustangs and didn't really, nothing really grabbed us. And I said, I don't know what color we want. So the salesman handed us a brochure. On the front of the brochure was a grab orange, orange Mustang <laughs> doing a smoky burnout. And she said, that's what I that's want. That's the color. <laughs> I would say what drew to the grab orange, but it's obvious that color just catches your attention for sure. But what led to this? I mean, I know you you drive this car too, which is impressive. You told yes. me you've driven this thing cross country? Yes. Like multiple times almost. Yes. So yeah, how many it, miles are on it right now, you think? Uh, just what is it, 70, 79. And it hasn't been repainted because this front bumper looks brand new. Like I don't even see a mark the, on it and I did look. The bumper is sort of repainted. Okay. The stripes were on it. So they had when they took the stripes off, there was some etching in there, so oh, they so did have to had blow the a little Le Mans bit. style stripes on it at one point. Yeah. Okay. So it, he had to put a little orange to blend it, and, but the whole car is cleared, about five coats of aftermarket clear. So okay. that's one reason why it looks the way well, it does. I would does. say it definitely glows more than yeah. here. I've seen a lot right. of rubber orange, which I love the color, but this one has an extra glow to it. Especially yeah. having driven it here in the rain today, yeah. well, you can't I, even tell. Yeah, you know, I told the guy when, when we took it in, I said, this is what I want. I want that glass. I want it to be glass when you're done. I don't want to feel paint lines, you know what I mean? So he laid a lot of clear on it and buffed it all down. So it's smooth as glass. So what led to the Mach 1 look? Because you said obviously it had stripes at one point and then you went for this full 69 Mach 1 vibe, which absolutely. That's my all time favorite Mustang is 69 Mach 1. Okay, so I figured. You'd... Not sure if I'll ever own one, so this is about as close as we may get. Make a nice trip. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm assuming that is actually your real 69 Mach 1 hood scoop on there, correct? Uh, it is the aftermarket one from, I think it's Cervini makes it. So it's the same style. I don't know if it's an actual 69 okay, Mach 1, but it looks just like it's the, the same, of it. yeah. Now, anything performance wise done to this one? Obviously, it looks great, but is there anything else done? Um, it's got a cold air and it's got some, it's got headers and full exhaust and a tune, 373 rears in it. Okay. It's an automatic, um, but you know, it's not, no supercharger or anything like that. All right, so tell us a little about the 16 now and how you ended up with two Mustangs. Well, it was kind of a, she has hers, I need I need a toy now too. So we went to Charlotte for the 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I didn't I didn't like this car when I first saw it. Okay, I which thought, is common with the new yeah, models. People are kind of, uh, eh. I, I really thought I was gonna buy a used Boss 302 is what I thought I was gonna okay. end up with. Saw this car in person at Charlotte and said, that's pretty cool. I, I like it a lot better in person than in a picture. I ordered this car, you know, it's a performance package. Um, in that, you know, I want that color, that interior, you know, that, that package. Now, was that a color that you had seen before and said that's the color, or did you take a chance on it? Because I know Guard was one of those I kind of people well, didn't know. There was a guy in the Mustang Club that had one, and I think I had seen it once. Okay. But it was sort of taking a chance. I, I There was no other color that really I wanted something a little unique yeah. because hers is kind of unique. So I said, let's let's pick it. I mean, it, it's a unique color and you just don't see it. I, so I, I yeah. almost ordered guard myself. I was like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna like it in person. And I loved it when I actually finally saw it. Now, that car is a little tamer on the looks compared to the Mach 1 here, but not so tame under the hood. Yeah, this is the show car, that's the go car. And what's done to that one performance? So wise? that has a stage one Whipple kit on it. Okay. Um, I have a McLeod. RST clutch in it, uh, 
MGW short toe shifter, upgraded half shafts, upgraded rear suspension, it's lowered. So it's it's built. So it kept that stock look, but <laughs> right. with a lot more going on underneath yeah. the surface. Yeah. And any future plans for that one? Um, I know mean, it's always tough to say, you know, we always say they're never done. But yeah, I mean, sometimes you reach a point where you're happy and content. It needs tuned yet. Okay. It's not quite right as far as tuned. It, it's, I've had it done for about a year now. Um, I think I'm going to have Lund Racing kind of take a look at okay. it and yep. see uh, what it kind of, just to tweak it a little. Before. It runs great, but just a few little things. It could things. be a little could better. Be a little better. Yep, yep. Enjoying it. I mean, just driving it and having fun with it. And you guys just obviously kinda... like to go to events. I know you just say you've been to Pitts. I know you've been to Mustang Week. You did Mustangs across America, which a lot of people haven't done. Any events you're excited about in the future you're looking at doing? Uh, I'd like to go to Good Guys or the, the, um, out in Detroit, the okay. uh, Woodward. Yes, Woodward. Good I'd trip. like to go to that We've been sometime. Been a couple times now. It's worth going um, to. You know, definitely going back to Pitts. Okay, cool. Uh, for sure. I mean, we've we've been down in that area before. We we really like. And you say Tennessee. you're going back down to I think Tennessee soon for uh, one of the driving days too, aren't you? Uh, to be in Kentucky, but yeah, okay. um, yeah, that'll be in Pikeville, Kentucky. And what's where, that all about? So it's a uh, it's a rally, is what they call it. Okay. Uh, I think there's somewhere around 75 cars that get invited to that. Okay. Um, and it's it's all back twisty roads. We're doing back of the dragon. I know for sure. I don't know what else we're doing. This is my first one. Oh wow! To it. How many so days is that? Starts and we, we're going to show up on Wednesday and and leave Sunday to come home. Oh, so nice. So it's it'll be three full days of driving. Um, Wednesday night is just travel down and okay. Sunday travel home. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, it kind of give me a chance to really see what that car will do. I uh, said something <laughs> like that. That's what they're for. Driving them is what yeah. it's about. Them. It's great to see these cars being driven, you know, not trailing everywhere. You guys actually drive them. Uh, I want to thank you both for coming out. I know it rained on us at Pitts. Uh, it's raining here again today. Our roof started to make a ton of noise from the rain echoing. But, you know, thank you guys. Beautiful cars and thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thank you.